even though there's differing perspectives, they really love each other. Mm-hmm. And I think that sort of uh, at the helm of it, yeah. I would hope that people with different perspectives can still find ways to be to be with one another. There's uh, there's something really empowering when somebody has a differing perspective. As long as you are paying attention to what it is you actually feel and you're finding healthy ways to express that. We are live on the scene tonight of yet another officer-involved shooting. That man has been identified as LAPD officer Brian Stanley. Our neighbor? Our neighbor. And now we wait for him to be exonerated. So what does one do, Vanessa? We gotta take a stand. You're going to come over to our house. I'm going to talk and you're going to listen. What up, man? What's going on, man? What's happening, man? How you feeling? <laughs> it's feeling good. Uh, it looks like your soul now is <laughs> suddenly Cleo left, right? Last second. Yeah, yeah. She had to go go be a, a busy working actress. There you go. She is definitely busy. Oh, we have boy talk, so that's all good too. There we go. There we go. Man, you know, here I'm watching, I'm I'm thinking all these theories when I'm watching this film and I'm like, um, first of all, I'm thinking like as an actor and as a person, like, is Alan more like James or Vanessa, like in actual life? I wonder if you got the the right script handed your way, you know, what would you kind of, if you were in that position, what do you lean, who do you lean with more? That's an interesting question, man. I like to, I mean, they're very alike in a lot of ways. They just Mm -hmm. sort of and here because she wants to do something about it and whereas james he wants they just they they, they he wants to just do something else so they're they come they're very they are doers right they're not just yeah. sitting on something but he james wants to do this and james and vanessa wants to do that but um i guess it's more so where i differ from james that's interesting i hmm. i be a little bit more self-aware and um by doing that, I feel like I'm a lot less self-destructive as he is, and how and and as uh, Vanessa ends up being as well. That makes if that's clear at all. Uh, no, I think that's an interesting take. I think that's a well well way to answer this. You know I mean, there's it's it's complex, you know, in that way too, because you can make you can make cases for both of them too, and it's just interesting, you know, and it's it's just their approach to the way they communicate things. It's so complex when you look at it, you know, because you can make a case for both, and they both write in a in a way too. So exactly, exactly the way they go about it, I think uh-huh. is of deeper things that are repressed that they they're not paying attention to uh, exactly yeah yeah uh i'm wondering like do you think relationships like that can work ultimately when, when you have like two different aspects and you're maybe sort of different people even though you have things in common but i'm like makes me think too like mm, i wonder if like relationships like this in life when you have these sort of perspectives work ultimately yeah, i think when you watch the film you can see how they even though there's differing perspectives, they really love each other. Mm-hmm. And I think that sort of uh, at the helm of it, yeah. I would hope that people with different perspectives can still find a ways to be to be with one another. There's uh, there's something really empowering when somebody has a differing perspective. As long as you are paying attention to what it is you actually feel, and you're finding healthy ways to express that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't do with, with what they do which is so end up they build resentment towards one another mm-hmm. from not expressing the things that they actually want to talk to about that they actually need to talk to with one another um uh, and it gets in the way of them actually being able to love one another so you know that's my ted talk on romance and there you go i think it's, it's once again a well said <laughs> here's here's gonna throw you a little curveball I'm, I'm a big fan of the Purge movies, and you were definitely in one of them. And I'm thinking, what the hell would happen if James met Dimitri? You know, that's another theory that I had there, too. <laughs> what do you think that room would be like? I mean, do they get along? Do they go at it right away? I'm mean, curious what your take would be on that. No, it's interesting. I feel like Jamal, James's brother, is more like Dimitri. So we do get to experience that a little bit. When we mm-hmm. see Jamal come into the picture uh, towards the middle of the film. And we get to see sort of someone who is very self-aware deal with uh, James, 
who is sort of hiding from himself as a means of survival. He has a reason. It's justified why he's not paying attention to the certain things that Jamal or even a Dimitri would pay attention to. But um, there'd be a lot of friction between those two. Uh-huh. Sure. It'd be a, it'd be, maybe it's like a, a new movie right there. We can put these two character mashups together, you know, yeah. have a good script there. Yeah, yeah. I, th- I, think, I think the movie ends up not happening, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you made it happen with these two separate ones, so you did well on both of them. So uh, I'm a fan of your work. I'm, I'm excited for what's next. You've chosen a lot of interesting characters whenever I see you on screen and just uh, keep doing the, the interesting work. Oh, Jim, thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. I love your background as well. <laughs> Thanks. It's, I mean, I, I'm a little bit past due on the Christmas tree, but, you know, the chick's going to stay there and the sign's going to stay there. So. Do your thing, bro. Do your thing. <laughs> Appreciate you. You too. Take care, buddy.